All right, you're going to practice with some algorithms. And what we're going to do is use Logo and, and Android Logo. It's the Android version of one of the oldest apps, oldest programs ever written. It was written for kids a long time ago, back when you know it was just engineers and scientists using computers. And Logo let them play around. And, and what they did is you just program the little turtle. In this case, it's a little Android dude. You just program this guy to move around. And as he moves around, he draws lines. So you can make art, okay? But it's a great way to practice algorithms and learning about procedures and repeat um, commands that you want to you want to do, okay? This app that you got set up, and you're going to have this starter app to start. It allows you to play around with the commands just by the UI. So, like, if I press forward on this button, and I, my phone's projecting on the screen, so you can see what I'm doing. It's a little bit delayed, okay? Or I can press right. So the two main commands are forward and right, or turn, okay? And it just turns him 90 degrees. But once he turns, if I hit forward some more, he's going to draw like that. So you can draw squares. You can draw all kinds of shapes just using these two simple commands. And you can hide the Android man, show it, um, and you can reset, right, if you want to start, start over. Okay, so you can play around with that just to get the idea. But really your goal is going to be to create algorithms, to, to write procedures that make this guy draw things you want. Like you're going to try to draw squares of various sizes. And you're going to draw a face where the face has two eyes and a mouth, whatever. Okay, but you're just going to practice building algorithms in order to, to really learn how code works. Okay, um, so you can see here's the forward command and the turn command. And these are procedures. All right, and a procedure is basically you can pull out this two procedure block, put a bunch of stuff in there, and now you've got a new block. Okay, and you can name it whatever you want. All right, so... So we've created some functions for you. I'll just open up forward because it's right now it's it's um, you know it's not expanded. So when you expand it, there's a bunch of details in here to get this Android man to move forward and draw. There's actually some math and some details. Now you don't have to worry about it. You can take a look at this, and if you're interested, take a look. But you know what you're going to do is take advantage of the fact that these procedures, these kind of user-defined or programmer-defined blocks are there for you and you're going to build you know more complex things that that make use of these these things and you can forget about the details that's what abstraction is right hide the details somewhere and then have a higher level command that you can just call okay so i've got this forward procedure and this turn procedure so i can write a little program i'm going to put in the draw procedure and that's what gets called when the draw button gets clicked right remember the draw button on the on the phone, okay, and if you look at the button draw dot click, you'll see that what it does is it calls draw. So whatever you put in here is going to happen when you click on that on that button, okay. So you'll be able to test your algorithm. So let's just do something real simple. And the way you call things is you go to the procedures area, and you can just call um, what do we want? We want a forward and and call turn, okay. Okay, and let's just copy this and do a couple more. So I'm going to copy Command C, Command V, and we'll do some more forwards after the turn. So I don't know exactly what this is going to draw, but I've got a draw procedure I've just created. This is my algorithm to draw to, to to draw some shape. Okay, and I'm going to test it by touching the draw button. So I'm going to touch draw on my phone, and uh, then I'm going to touch just touch hide so it'll show. So there's the shape I drew with this algorithm. Okay. Um, so anyway, what you're going to do is play around with with building such algorithms. You're going to draw squares of different sizes, okay? You're going to draw a face where you've got a big square and then a couple smaller squares for the eyes and maybe for the mouth, okay? But you're just going to play around. One one thing you know I hope you're going to find is the need for sub procedures, okay? For breaking things down into little parts. So instead of trying to draw the whole face in one big algorithm, you'll break it down hierarchically and say, well, draw me an eye, draw me another eye, and etc. Okay, but anyway, you'll get to that point, but your goals here are draw some squares of various sizes and then try to draw draw a face. And and then in the next in the next uh, in the next video we'll we'll go over some solutions.